Hey everyone, this is Valentin from musicgreatness.com and in today's lesson, we are going to learn Let It Be by The Beatles. And it sounds just like this. Alright guys, so in this first part, we are going to learn the introduction and the verse. So we are in the key of C major. Here are the chords. We start by playing C major. Playing C on the left hand and E, G, C on the right. Then we'll play a G major. Playing G on the left and B, D, G on the right hand. Next, we'll play A minor, playing A on the left and A, C, E on the right. Then we'll keep the right hand the same, and on the left hand we'll play an F, giving us an F major 7 chord. Then right after we'll play the C major again, but on the right hand we'll play root position, so we have C on the left and C. E, G on the right. And the last chord will be an F major chord. Playing F on the left hand and C, F, A on the right hand. Okay, so let's repeat the chords together. So we start on the first degree of the scale playing the C major. Then we go to the fifth. G major into an A minor. Then we go to the fourth degree, keeping the right hand the same. Then back to the one. And we finish on the fourth. Playing F major. Very nice, guys. Alright, guys, so let's start by breaking down the introduction. We start like this. So let's see the right hand. It goes C major, first inversion, and we'll play it twice, like this. One, two, into G major, first inversion, three, four, into the A minor, root position. One, two, three, four, and one. Very nice. Let's hear it with the left hand. Okay, so now let's break down the left hand. It goes C, C, F sharp, G, 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 A, with the counts. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one. Once again together. Three, four, and one, two, three, four, one. Very good. Let's play hands together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. Good job. Then from here we'll play this. Okay, so let's break down the right hand. We are on the A minor triad. We'll repeat it like this. One, two, and three, four. And on the fourth beat, the E is going to become a D. One, two, and three, four. And then we'll play a C major in root position this time. Not first inversion, root position. Once again, the right hand, three, 
four and one, two and three, four, one. Very nice. Okay, so let's hear it with the left hand. It goes like this. So the left hand is very simple. It goes A, G, F, F, C. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, let's play hands together. Three, four, and one, two, three, four, one. Perfect. Okay, so now from here, we're going to play this. Here we're playing the end of the introduction. So the right hand goes like this. C major, root position, twice. Into G major, first inversion. And this time we're going to play F major in second inversion. Then we'll play in thirds, E, G, D, F, into C major, first inversion. Once again, it goes C major, G major, F major, and in thirds. Back to C major. Let's hear it with the left hand. So, it goes like this. Alright, so the left hand goes like this. C, C, F sharp, G, 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 F, C, 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 C. Once again with the counts, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one. Very good. All right, let's play it hands together. Three, four. Very good. So that's the end of the introduction. All right, guys, so now we are going to learn the verse. The pattern of the verse will always be the same and will be used in the bridge section. The verse section is exactly like the introduction with just a little tweak in the end. So I will play the verse to you and I will stop at the very moment it changes from the introduction. So it goes like this. here on this chord, because in the introduction we were playing the F major on the right hand in second inversion, here we are going to play it in root position, and it will sound just like this. So right hand goes like this, F major root position, into this. So we keep the top C and on the left hand we'll play E, G, into D, F, C. So it goes F major, this chord, this chord, back to C major first inversion. And then we play the whole pattern again. Here we go to A minor, like in first part. And then we follow it up with the chorus part.
Alright guys, so that's all for the first part of this tutorial. If you want to see more, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching and if you've liked the video, please leave a like, a comment and subscribe. See you in the next lesson.